Hello and thank you for joining me in this series of videos where we explore what it is to actually be intentional in our lives, what it is to be intentional in our thinking, how that actually looks like in reality and what its impact is. A lot of the stuff which I cover these days comes from emails that you guys send in, which I'm grateful for. And also some of the comments which you put in videos, some of the comments which you put on my social media posts where I post these videos. So please keep that coming, keep those comments coming, keep those emails coming. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please make sure you do so in order to keep the continuity going in your own journey of what it means to be intentional. And today I'm actually going to cover something which is a fairly hot topic which has come up on a number of occasions and I've sort of been trying to think about how to best tackle this. And the subject in question is spontaneity. In being intentional in many ways, we have to be a little bit more aware of our actions and the impact those actions will have. We have to be a bit more thoughtful in terms of how we um, behave and being aware of the impact of our behavior and the long-term consequences of such impact, not just on ourselves, but also on the people around us. So that approach kind of takes the wind out of the sails of spontaneity. So, you know, we think, oh, we can't be spontaneous, we can't be sort of uh, fun and unpredictable, we can't be sort of, can't experience the joy of something uh, because we have to think about our response. And this is not the case at all. Essentially, being intentional is being structured. If we're not being intentional, the opposite of that is being chaotic. There is nothing intrinsically wrong with being chaotic in a behavior, except that it is something which used to work largely in the past. And I will explain why now. Now, in the past, life was a little bit more structured. Now, we tend to think that life is always a little bit unstructured because the world is such a huge system. It doesn't take us into account. It has its own system logic, which allows it to run. And we try to fit in there somehow. And this creates all the friction, which then generates the problems which we experience as we go about in our day-to-day -day life. And that is still true. But in the past, because our perception of the uncertainty that is inherent in the world was a lot less, because it was easier, maybe, to fit into the world's expectations, to fit into the expectations of the people around us, um, our close friends, our family, and so on, and behave along those lines. And because a lot of people were also doing something similar, which kind of tended to validate what we did and gave us a greater sense of um, sureness perhaps in our choices and in our actions, we did not feel the need to be highly structured ourselves. So in the past, the world made demands upon us. We accepted those demands. And in doing so, we got along with our lives in whatever shape or form those lives might have taken. But even if our behavior was chaotic, it was not catastrophically so. It did not entail anything which would perhaps create huge problems for us, or at least problems which we couldn't solve in a, in a sort of um, very uh, sort of immediate future for, for us back then. So what has changed, right? This is what we need to understand in order to understand why we need to be different. Well, the world has changed. Obviously, we live in a pandemic, and after the pandemic is over, we're going to live in a post-pandemic world. That in itself is going to be different. The reality which is going to emerge is going to be fundamentally different from the reality which we left behind. But that is not all. Essentially, every part of the system, which is the world, is undergoing changes, some of which we can't even see right now. They will become evident as we move into the future. Because of all this change, the world itself is chaotic. The circumstances which guide us, if we allow them to guide us, are constantly changing. That's what chaos is, essentially. There is a structure of a sort, but it's not a cohesive one. It's not one which directs us in a very specific way. Because of that, if we allow circumstances to run us, then the chaotic behaviors which we would fit into 
it would allow us to expand a lot of energy, a lot of emotional and attentional resources and get very little done. And that is the downside. That is the fundamental aspect of chaotic behavior which works against us. So, if in the past the world was more structured, which it was, our own chaotic behavior back then was checked immediately by the greater structure of the world around us and the circumstances which we encountered. And that guided us along a path which was a little bit more cohesive, whether we wanted it to be that way or not. But this is not the case now. Because the world around us is chaotic, we need to be more structured. We need to be more structured in our approach, in our thinking, and in our actions. And essentially that is what being intentional is all about. It's having that personal structure, which comes from discipline, which comes from thinking, which comes from planning, which comes from an awareness of who we are and why we are the way we are. And also it comes from our ability to discern the kind of direction that we need to take in order to get where we want to get to. So being intentional means all those things, which means our actions are guided by a higher selection process than perhaps in the past where we simply responded in almost a knee-jerk reaction to the circumstances around us. I hope this has clarified it a little bit. Let me know in the comments below if it hasn't. Let me know what your thoughts are about this. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Keep those comments and emails coming in. Thank you so much for being part of this journey. Stay safe out there.